All right, so D23 is out. I'm going to be reacting to some of the trailers they showed off, and let's get into it. First, with Skeleton Crew. Okay. Tomorrow going to school or something? We'll set the course yeah, of your going to school. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty cool. John Favreau and Dave Filoni. Okay. Bro, this literally looks like a Star Wars Earth. No more pretend. I found something buried in the woods. Dude, what in the world? I think it's a lost Jedi temple. A Jedi temple? No way. Be careful where you step. So they get lost, and they get into a ship, and somehow magically get blast off into hyperspace. <laughs> wow, okay, these visuals look really good. Jude Law's character, okay. December 3rd. Okay. First impressions on that. It it's weird. It looks just like they made our the earth in Star Wars. Like look at that. That literally if you showed that to someone that didn't know Star Wars, they would probably say that's on Earth. I gotta say, the visuals in this show look really good. Like, the cinematography and VFX and CGI looks good. I'm not sold on it yet. I'm still kind of like, eh. But it looks decent. It looks like something like The Goonies. Or I'm trying to think of another movie or show. Stranger Things, maybe. Um, but... Yeah, I really hope this is good. And I know there were some leaks that we might see Mando in this show, but I don't know if that's a thing anymore. They might have scrapped that. But, yeah. This kind of reminds me of Ahsoka, not gonna lie. So, what we have here is the Mandalorian and Grogu announcement. Now, there is a trailer they showed off for it. I have seen a really pixelated version of it. But basically, what I saw was... There's Zeb, Zeb Aurelius from Rebels that we saw in Mando Season 3, flying a Razor Crest. Now, it looks like Mando might have bought a new Razor Crest or, like, rebuilt one. I don't know, it's interesting. I also saw this really cool scene where Mando and Grogu were on a ATST, and um, they were, like, going through on the snow planet and just, like, f sliding down a mountain. And then these AT-ATs were shooting at them, and they were, like, running under them. It was a really cool scene. It looks pretty cool so far. But, uh, we'll have to wait for the full trailer to come out and full quality to see. But let's watch this, um, announcement. The goats are here. Dave isn't wearing his hat. Alright, let's see what they have to say here. Thank you. Thank you for the warm B-23 welcome. It was five years ago when we first uh, came to D-23 and introduced you all to the idea and the characters of the Mandalorian. Wow. Remember, That's was, crazy uh, to think about. Disney Plus and, uh, and we got to bring that story to all of you through your televisions. And now we are delighted to say that we're getting the opportunity to bring these characters to the big screen. Yes, sir. Really hope this movie is good. I think we're all pretty excited to have Star Wars back on 
big screen gentlemen, big screen right behind us here with our uh, little New Republic base. And, uh, you know, for me personally, it's been a journey of almost 20 years I've been a part of this. Yeah. Coming back to George, and I couldn't imagine being involved with a film like this with characters, especially a Baby Yoda. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just I got to say, working with uh, a Disney legend like John, I'm so proud of him. But, right? Yeah, he, he created him. Iron Man. He is a legend. There are teleprompters, but we don't use them. And it's like, and, and just when I saw Iron Man, you've seen it? Yeah. It's a good movie. I thought, God, this guy would make a great Star Wars movie. Because <laughs> like, you do, buddy. And we're putting Star Wars back on the big screen, which is your venue. That's where you come from. And I'm privileged to learn from you along the way, and uh, just super excited about it. I'm sure they are too. Yeah. It's been it's been a I got you. I got you. <laughs> it's been a wonderful partnership. Thank you, Dave, for being there and and, and and sharing this experience with me and putting this movie together. Now the movie doesn't come out till 2026. 20, yeah, that's a long wait though. Oh, okay, they're filming now. It's D23, so I figured we'd stop by and at least say hello, because it's the last D23 before the movie comes out. So we had to put something together for you, right? It's an all-new adventure following these two characters. I want to see Luke Skywalker. Bring us Luke Skywalker. And they don't show you the trailer. <laughs> oh, well. But... Yeah, I really think these two right here, Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau, they can bring Star Wars back. If they get enough control, if they like if they get full control, they can fix Star Wars and bring it back. And I really hope this movie starts in that direction. Toy Story 5. Now, do we need this movie? Absolutely not. Do people want this movie? Some people do, but I think I heard, I watched a thing. It's about like electronics versus toys because like everyone loves electronics and like for kids toys, it's a competition because like, you know, phones and tablets and computers, it's kids love that way more than toys. It should be interesting. I mean, I'll probably watch it, but I'm not like too excited for it, but I'll give it a chance. Um, so yeah, now this is what I was wanting to react to here, because I did see the first one of this, and the visuals in this movie are crazy, so let's give this a watch here. It's time, I'll tell you a story, a story of the cub. Not much bigger than yeah, again, these visuals are really good. In this story. There's a lot of stories with all of us. Tell one of those. Long before they became legends, Mufasa and the prince who would come to be known as Scar became brothers. Hello. What's your wait, is this a prequel? Mufasa. I told you to wait for me. We can't just leave him here. Rules are rules, Tucker. The king will never accept a stray. I'm not a stray. I'm just lost hmm we do not associate with outsiders Tucker is the future king we must protect the bloodline but dad I saved his life <laughs> I mean this looks really good that like looks like real life honestly Is uh, John Favreau working on this? He worked on the first one. Dang. Yeah, that looks beautiful. You and Tucker together. That is home. Now both of you go. Find your place in the circle of life. I mean, I'll definitely watch this movie. <laughs> the circle is broken. There will be one lion. Yep, you gotta challenge the king of the jungle. Christmas, okay. We must fight to 
got If we fight, we die. Just to be clear, I never signed up. <laughs> I'm here to protect you, my brother. Wow. Good for you. You're saying Okay, okay. December twentieth. So we got skeleton crew. We got skeleton crew and the Lion King. I will admit this does look pretty cool. Now I'm not that, like, I don't know much at all about Lion King lore, so I'm guessing this is a sequel to the first one, but definitely give it a watch. Um, this movie's probably going to get some records for visuals, like CGI and VFX, because it looks really nice. Like, look at that shot. So, I know we also got um, a Daredevil movie trailer. I can't find that on YouTube right now. Um, we also got Ironheart, an announcement for that, like a second one, which I don't know. Both of those movies, I'm more interested in Daredevil, but probably not as much as Ironheart, but we'll see. We also got Incredibles 3 announcement, which I'm really excited for that. I love the first one and the second one. I think those movies are... The, those two are definitely my, my favorite Pixar movies that have been made, probably besides like Cars. So I'm really excited for that. I'm wondering where they're going to take it and like what the story is going to be. Um, but we'll see. We also got a trailer for Percy Jackson Season 2. I've never seen the show, but I mean, it looks cool just looking at it here. So I'm sure there's fans for the show probably enjoy it. All right, on to the last thing of the video. Um, Zootopia 2, I found a leaked trailer, low quality, but whatever. Uh, I actually enjoyed the first movie quite a bit. So I think I watched it in theaters when it first came out. So let's give the, the new trailer a watch. Oh my goodness. If your snakes been hiding out here, someone saw something. Just green, right? Water folks tend to be a little standoffish around land. Yeah, you know, we did crack the biggest case the city's ever seen. Pretty sure we can handle the judgment seal. So they're just exploring around Zootopia more of it, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Look at the Mandalorian one over there. That's pretty funny. There's the logo. Okay, so I think they were just showing a clip from the movie. This doesn't sell me. Like, I'm not sold on the movie yet. But, again, I'll give it a watch. See how it is. I just hope Disney doesn't mess it up like they always do with everything. Because... The first movie with Disney nowadays is always better than the second because it gets popular and they do some agenda, whatever. Um, yeah. So, I haven't seen Inside Out 2 yet. I don't know if it they ruined it or not, but you guys let me know how Inside Out 2 was. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up this video. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm excited for all these new movies coming out. I can't wait for 2026 because I'm literally going to be living at the theater. There's so many good movies coming out like Mandalorian Grogu, Avengers Doomsday, and so many other movies too. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you later.